What's up, Reyes family? So we're back today here at HQ. It's one of our off days. Here's our little office here. So what we're doing today is heading to do some errands, right, baby? Oh, my goodness. Hello, friends. Yes. So I colored my hair blue. I said and we were about to go do errands, baby. I didn't ask about your day. Oh. Oh my gosh. That attitude. But yes, I colored my hair blue because I was like, I want to try something spontaneous. And your girl did it. And if you. And if you ask my husband why. He's gonna be like, why didn't you ask me before you did it? But okay, we'll be back. If I haven't mentioned it before, Soshi is the absolute worst driver in the world. Her right there, worst driver in the world. Just letting them know how bad of a driver you are. I'm a great driver. You are a terrible driver. Whatever, man. Whatever. He's such a hater. He's been drinking that haterade. That Gatorade. Ah. Guys, if you live in Phoenix, do not get a car with leather seats. Ah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you guys do errands, how do you guys do it? Do you like to go with your significant other? Or do you feel like you can't get stuff done? I like to go with my significant other. I have to go with her, because if not, she's gonna buy a bunch of dumb stuff. All right, so if you don't know, the song playing in the background is an exclusive by Wandra Blonde under the label of Free. The label. That's one of our new projects here out of HQ, which is Faith's headquarters, and me and my partners, Dylan Santos, uh, Kevin Yamas, Josh Flores, which is our executive producer for all of this whole project. We're actually heading out to Colombia in a few months, so you guys definitely stay tuned. I know my wife over here is pretty upset about her not being able to go. I just like to think that I'm a high maintenance person, and I never believed that I was a high maintenance person until I finally was like, yeah. So I really appreciate the attention that my husband gives me, and you know, I totally respect that, you know, that because I'm not going, I know that he wouldn't be able to give me that attention. But um, I always tell him that I support his dreams and, you know, I know that he wants this and I know he's gonna go for it. So I think any married couple, boyfriend, girlfriend, you should always appreciate all the stuff that they do, support them, unless they're doing something like shady then probably. Probably not support them, but this is something that I believe in my husband and I know he's gonna do it, so check it out. <laughs> so we're going to Costco. Do you ever feel like when you go to Costco that you really like to try all of the samples? You love the samples. You love don't samples. ever try any samples. Back in California, they have no, good samples. No, you don't try any samples at Costco. You're lying. It's like when I was younger. Uh, you go and you eat a pizza slice or a hot dog. Ooh, I really want one. Or you go and get a churro. Mm. She's like alive. I have She's tried fine. samples. What she, are you she talking about? She's lying. <laughs> okay. Babe. Look at I do. And by the way, if your wife or significant other wants to change their hair, make sure you talk to that person. This is pretty ridiculous. Ah! I just got burnt. That's what happens, baby. Um, I don't think it's ridiculous. I think it was fun up until I probably didn't think that, you know, coloring it on top of another color was probably the wrong choice. So, uh, you'll probably be seeing me very soon. So don't do it. Dark brown hair. Camera almost dropped, but we caught it. But yeah. So, probably recommend not doing it. Don't color your hair blue, it's pointless. I wanted Why to do blue? pink. Why blue? Because I thought, no, actually it wasn't me. 
It was my sister-in-law. Yeah, babe, but you let her. Like, what the heck? It was your idea. You let her. It was your idea. You let her. Right or wrong? I mean, I did. Okay. You let her do it. So it's your fault. Yes, I do take responsibility. That it's We're about to roll up to Sam's Club and... Costco! Sam's Club's better anyways. Um, We're about to roll up to Costco. Where and the cost is low. You can't do that with Sam's. Sam's Club. You need a part of the club, girls. Get out of here. <laughs> I prefer Costco wholesale. I just want to show you guys. I do eat samples. She, she's super full of it. Hard to eat it. Ow. That was hot. That was hot, my friend. He likes to claim that I don't eat samples. This is an organic chip, multi-grain chip. Hmm. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't get it. Well, we had a hard time recording in Costco just because Maneuvering the car and attempting to record is kind of difficult, but I will say that I proved Felipe wrong by eating all of the samples, except those chips, because those chips were awful. Um, I will say this, if you think Costco is better than Sam's Club, give us a like. If you think Sam's Club is better than Costco, then drop a comment. But so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a comment. No, babe. I do Sam's not. Sam's Club is so what, much better than Costco. What's so better? Everything. Well, then why didn't you take me to Sam's Club? Shout out Walmart. That's what I thought. <laughs> um. Yeah. What's up? We had half of a hot dog. Yummy. So much reading, healthy. But we did half, so it was kind of healthy, you know? But, um, yeah. So, the main reason we decided to. Peace! I'm just kidding. I uh, just got to FedEx real quick. Have to send a package out to the boys. Are you gonna win the car? I prefer to win the car. Uh, Ew. Farewell. I'm a car type of person. It doesn't, if you don't need me, I don't need to go. Type of deal. What'd you say? <laughs> you don't need me? Huh? No. Okay. <laughs> you don't need me. No. You don't need me. No. I'm cool. Oh my gosh. Filipito. If you guys don't know, I like to call him Filipito. Felipe. The main reason why I wanted to do this video was to just talk about failure and sometimes somehow it's okay to not know what you're doing and it's okay to to be in that unknown. Like, we're not meant to have our whole life planned out type of thing. Um, for me, I was definitely scared when it came to schooling and you know trying to make sure that I am making my family proud and I definitely not proud but I used up a lot of money for school I went to school to become a nurse didn't do it and changed my major to teaching and then now I'm in aesthetics so now I'm licensed but um, what nobody knew, not my husband until recently, was how I prolonged my exam. And it was, it was because I'm the type of person that I will get comfortable and I won't like to change. Like, unless like my husband will tell me in a very stern voice and be like, yo, like, you need to wake up. Like, what's going on with you? Then like, 
I will be like, yo, like, why, what, why am I so comfortable? Why am I doing this? And um, I prolonged my test. I graduated in February, didn't take my exam until June. And my husband didn't know that I had received my email, like, in order to take it. And I just felt that I was like, oh, like, I don't need to get licensed. I'm okay. And I realized that I was taking advantage of, I, in my mind, I feel like I was taking advantage of my husband. I was, you know, he was working so hard for us and I wasn't giving him, you know, the effort back. And I feel extremely bad about that. Um, but yeah, I just, just wanted to just tell you that it's okay that we all go through that phase in life. And I mean, some, maybe not, but, um, being able to talk about it feels good inside. Well, feels good for me because now I'm doing what I love and I'm happy and, you know, I'm able to help support my husband in his dreams and whatnot. And I feel like I was definitely holding him back because I wasn't, I was scared. That's the whole thing. I was just, I was so scared. So I'm sure my husband, when he comes back, he'll talk to you guys a little bit more about his success. But yeah, I just want to let you know. All right, my dear. What's up? What's your take on failure? Well, shoot, I just failed at FedEx, man. It's going to be $650 to send a package to Columbia. Get the heck out of here. That's a joke. What are you, well, I mean, it is um, far. Babe, $650? That's not even the flight. Well, how much did you think it was going to be? A hundred? If it was a hundred, that's reasonable. Sixty is perfect. But come on, really? $650? Get the heck out of here. So then, what are you going to do? I know we're gonna have to regroup and figure it out. Everybody pitch in 200. You're a damn fool. That still does not make sense to send a package. $215. Or does that make... So, what was your question, baby? What do you think about failure? Failure? Yes. I don't fail. But is it okay to fail at things? I don't fail, baby. But I know I failed. It's Failure is a way you perceive things. Like if it didn't go your way, you can interpret it as failure. I interpret it as a lesson. So if you interpret interpret failure as just not going the way as you thought it or you anticipated, then you never really fail. You just learn from everything that you're doing. I mean, it's easy to, to, to categorize both wins and losses. I mean, when I used to play soccer, for example, I'd get scored on and be like, I didn't fail. Like, I just learned that I should probably watch my backside on crosses that are coming from this player. Or if this is happening, I'm just learning. Like, everything's a learning curve. Like, I just learned to send a package to Columbia at $650. Like, that's a joke. So everything, like, I guess if you want to call it failure, everyone has failures. Every single day, you have a failure one way or another but it just depends on the way you're going to interpret it and the way you're going to use that failure if you let it kill you and you dwell on it then and you lost does that make sense so then when i didn't tell you about my schooling i thought of that as a failure because i failed you by lying to you yeah i mean I just saw it as a way where you can learn, like, not to lie. Yeah. Right? Like, when have I ever said, don't try your hardest or not do your best on things? You know that that's, that, that's something that I tell you all the time. Yeah, and you've also said that if you failed, at least I know that you tried. And you learn from it. Yep. I mean, that's the biggest thing. You're going to learn. You're going to fail. You're going to go through a bunch of different obstacles. But as long as you're growing from it and each and every single time, then you can never lose. Mm -hmm. Like, that's so real. You'll never lose if you learn from every single situation that you go through. 
like I've gone through and dated weird girls and I don't count that as a failure like I count that as like a dub like if it didn't work out with that girl or it didn't work out with this person on this business thing or so on and so forth like literally that's a win because I learned from it yeah good thing they didn't mail mail <laughs> good thing you didn't marry those girls they were not going to get married until I was 30. He just happened to come by and he wouldn't believe me. I <laughs> All right, so to close off today's topic, babe, what were you talking about? Um, that I think that it's okay to fail, but I think you have to learn from what you failed from. If you keep, like, doing it, like, on purpose, like... You're not learning from it, you know, you're being repetitive, mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that becomes a habit. Yeah. You become complacent with doing the incorrect the thing and doing the minimal. And I think that's how I was, how I got comfortable with where I was at and how I mentioned earlier that I felt that it was okay to be at this level and not realizing that it was damaging our marriage and that it uh, was not damaging babe, not, that's incorrect how's that well, damaging, not damaging our marriage our, not damaging our marriage it was that use the correct terminology okay. i mean you're, that you're I wasn't over dramatic that i wasn't helping you and that i didn't think i don't know how to explain it you just weren't meeting your end of the bargain. That's yeah, it. exactly. So that's not, not damaging. damaging anything. Like that doesn't damage the relationship. It just damages what you want. I mean, Soch wants a house. Soch wants this. Soch wants that. Okay, well, Soch, step up to the plate is what I keep telling her. And that's just the honest truth. Like, right? Like, it, take, it takes a teamwork to get absolutely everything that we want. So it's important that we're both on the same page when it comes to a lot of the stuff that we want to achieve, whether it's goals, um, milestones, etc., it, it's critical that we're both on the same page. Mm -hmm. And if you're not holding your end of the bargain, obviously, daddy's gonna have to say something. And that's what I had said that I prefer. I like when you're like stern because then it makes me realize, like, oh crap, like, I need to wake up. Like, what, why am I in this like comfort, like, oh, I'm just enjoying the ride type of feel. And yeah. sometimes he feels like um, he's being too mean, but in my mind, I don't think it's being mean. I think it's me like, oh shoot, like, I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not helping us. I'm slowing us down, basically. Yeah, I mean, just getting on the same page when it comes to, to anything is super important. Um, and like I said, failure is just a learning. Experience. Exactly. There's nothing that you can't take from a loss. So, we'll finish off with that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button down there. Um, if you like, share our video, that'd be amazing. Where can they follow you at? At Soshi, X-O-C-H-I-L-T, Reyes underscore. Perfect, and official Felipe Reyes, right there's the link. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Until next time, later.